Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. Bass Pro Shops, we've been talking about this lately, have been coming under some serious pressure. With the consumer changing and shifting as prices have just been out of control, now we have new news that Bass Pro Shops is taking a massive hit in its aluminum boat division. And it is causing trouble to the point where they are now having to lay people off cut expenses and they're doing everything they can. Even this is after the CEO warned that the consumer has changed. They're having to go to cheaper alternatives for items to sell to people. Now, I'm in front of a Bass Pro Shop right now and I wanna share this story with you. It says that Bass Pro Shops recently announced it has reduced its aluminum boat building workforce by 10%. Following the reduction, the company said it currently employs approximately a thousand team members in its Ozarks aluminum operations. And you can see behind us some of these boats here at the actual store. It says the decision to eliminate any position is not something we take lightly. Our employees are the best in the industry and they have never wavered from their commitment to build superior products for our customers, the company said in a statement. Out of respect and appreciation for their dedicated service, the company will continue to support each outfitter as fairly as possible through the transition. Now, you know, you could have the most dedicated, amazing employees, but the fact is when the economy turns and it turns every seven to 10 years, you need to lay people off. Either that or you will go out of business and you will no longer see these large stores operating because there's no customers coming in and you can't survive, you can't keep the lights on. It says Bass Pro said that current economic conditions and a downturn in customer demand ultimately brought the decision to lower uh, production and reduce the workforce. However, the cyclical nature of the industry in mind, the company says it hopes to recall workers as market pressures ease. Now, I have to be honest with you. I do not believe that market pressures are going to ease anytime soon. You see, the fact of the matter is, even with the Federal Reserve just announcing that they're looking to cut rates in September, it's going to be too little too late, and then they're gonna have to do that whipsaw effect because they're gonna have to combat inflation at some point. The Fed has been too light on inflation, and the fact is, more and more of these companies that are building, I'll give you an example, who has a quarter of a million dollars to buy a ski boat? And ski boats now can be as expensive as a half a million dollars. It's absolutely unbelievable to me that people do this. But the fact of the matter is they're doing it because of the type of loans that they're getting. And that's it. If people didn't have the financing in place to buy these boats, like some of these aluminum boats that are in the background over here, they wouldn't be buying them. And companies like Bass Pro Shop would not if they don't have access to easy credit. Like every time you walk into one of these stores, they ask you and you're checking out, hey, do you have a credit card through our company, whether it be Bass Pro or Home Depot? And you say yes or no. And if you say no, they're gonna go, would you like one? And the thing is, if the customer doesn't have access to that kind of uh, credit, they're not gonna buy overly priced items. And that's where we have to see uh, the writing on the wall. And this is something that's actually good because unlike the Great Recession, the factors leading up to it, we didn't have social media for people like myself to go, hey, I've been there, done that, I've seen these cycles. If you'll step back a little and spend a little bit less, you're gonna absolutely crush it. But the fact of the matter is, more and more of these items are getting more expensive. And I'll give an example, these side-by-sides right now. Let's see, check this out. It's, it's super simple to figure out. The price, $20,000 they say it's worth, right? They've got the no haggle uh, national price of 18,300. And they say, but don't worry, it's on clearance and easy payments of 300 bucks a month. That's it. If you got 300 bucks a month, you're good. You can own this thing. I'd love one of those things, but I ain't gonna spend that much on it. I'm gonna go wait for somebody that already bought it that figures out I don't have the $300 a month, I'm screwed, and they sell it on Facebook or Craigslist. And then the ninja goes and buys it. That's what happens. It's like buying a new boat. Who in their right mind would ever buy a new boat? Check this out. You lose so much money the second they go off the lot, right? The only people that buy new boats are the people that can't pay cash for them. I've rarely, as a matter of fact, in all the years I've been boating, all my friends, I've never seen someone pay cash for a new boat. They pay cash for used boats. And the second they get it off the lot, these new boats, they drop in price. Now think about this. 
Here we go. 38,000 bucks right now uh, is what they say it's worth, right? They're saying no haggle price, 32 grand. Well, if it's worth 38, why are you selling it for 32? Oh wait, you can't sell it, copy. But look, easy payments of 340 bucks. What? But that's, that's how economies build, boom, and that's how they bust, when all of a sudden the credit is gone. And we've seen in the last year, year and a half, banks starting to tighten on lending. We're seeing that most of the paper, uh, when I'm talking about paper, I'm talking about the debt that's cut when one of these boats go off the lot, um, is is not triple-A rated paper. These are subprime borrowers that are buying these boats right now. And a lot of banks are finding themselves in serious trouble. And the Fed knows it, but they're trying to keep this under wraps until after the election. And once the election happens, you're gonna see some crazy stuff happen. Look, I'm pretty excited about the future because I know it's going to crap in a handbasket. And you can either sit on the sidelines or you could be part of this and go crush it yourself. Hopefully you're getting ready to buy real estate. I'll throw out a reminder. Uh, the, uh, the real estate masterclass has only been ever offered once for three days. I'm offering again for three more days. Uh, and it's an all-in-one shop. Check out the link down below. But this gets me pumped. All right, with that being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.